Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. Here today we are going to do a tutorial on how to go from 5.05 .05 to 6.72. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, even from backing up your database just in case you may need it when you get to 6.72 and to show you where to get either recovery or update pup files from as well as how to install them. I'll kind of just breeze through that because you should already know and then what to do once you have 6.72 installed in the future. If a WebKit exploit ever comes out for 7.02 in order to update from 6.72 to 7.02, you would pretty much follow this same video. Just use the newer updated files for 7.02, whatever, you know, hen exploit comes out. Hopefully one day it will, but the steps should be the same before we continue. Don't forget to hit that like. It's the absolute best way to show your appreciation support and love towards the channel. Oh, and as we go along, I will, of course, give you some tips and hints along the way that should help you out to make things go even smoother still. OK, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. So one of the first things you want to do before you head on over to 6.72 is to back up your database. Now, what happens sometimes is that when you go up to 6.72, the database rebuilds itself and only legit uh, retail games will show on your home menu. Sometimes what happens is that the fake package files, your backed up games that you've installed will not show up. Now they will be in your system and they will be taking up space, but you won't be able to see them. This doesn't happen to everybody, but it's a good idea in order to save yourself some headaches to just go ahead and back up the database here. So if that does happen to you, you can restore it and then you can see your games again when you're in 6.72. If you really don't have any backed up games installed in your system, then you can skip this step. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can use either a payload or you can use FTP. If you want to use a payload, I strongly suggest that you grab yourself a USB either XFAT or FAT32 formatted. It doesn't have to be anything large. If you just have a little USB stick laying around that's FAT32, that's fine. It's only going to copy some small files that might only take up like a dozen megabytes, if that, or maybe a couple of dozen megabytes. It doesn't need to have much space at all. And then put it into your PS4. Once you've put that USB into your PS4, then go ahead, launch your hen. Once it's launched, then go ahead and look for a payload that will back up the database. Almost all host menus have a payload like this one here. You don't really have to concern yourself about the save game backups. What we need is the database, but this one does both and that's fine. So I already have the USB in there. Let me go ahead and I have already launched my hen. Let me pick the database backup. And it should say that it's backing up to USB. There we go. OK, now you're going to see that pop up about every 10 seconds or so. Now, it will continue to keep doing that and give you that message there. And it may not tell you that it's been completed and that's fine. Even the dev said once it, it's hit like the five minute mark, you can just go ahead, get out of the browser and you can just reboot your system and it would have already finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to take the USB out, put it in the PC so I can show you the files that it copied. All right, so I went ahead and plugged the USB back into the PC. By the way, this is looking a little bit different because I actually finished the video and I had to come back and re-record this segment because I had made some mistakes in it and half of the video didn't record for some reason. I've already turned off everything, so I'm just gonna do it this way to make it a little bit quicker. So once you plug the USB into your PC, you can see it made at least one backup folder. This one is called DB. Dacup. I'm pretty sure this is a typo. The program, I'm sure, was meant to write it as DB backup, but the folder says Dacup. Anyway, when you go into it, the three files that you need are there. And later on, when you go to 6.72, if there is a need for us to restore the database, you just need to leave that folder, the DB backup folder, on the root 
of your USB. And when we get to that point, I'll show you what it is you need to do. If you use the payload like the one I did, where it also backed up your game, your save game data and things like that, it will create a folder called user data or something similar. You don't have to worry about that folder at all. The one we care about is the one with the three database files. Okay, let me show you how to do this now via FTP, which I think is not only faster, it's also better. And I think it's something that's more surefire because later on, if you do use a payload to restore the database and you use your USB, sometimes you have to run that payload multiple times to get it to work. When you do it via FTP, you're putting the files directly back in and it works right the first time. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you how to get to them via FTP. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and activate FTP. You should already know how to do that on your system. I've already done that here. Then once you got that going, you're gonna to connect to your PS4, which I've already done here. Once you're at the root of your PS4's uh, directory here, you're gonna go into the system data folder. Then you're gonna go into PRIV, and then from there into the MMS folder. When you're there, you'll see the three files you'll need right here, the add content.db, app.db and avcontentbg.db. Those are the ones you wanna back up. So I can take those and just put them, I created a folder here on my desktop called backups. So I'll just put them in there for now. Or if you're doing this via your phone, back them up somewhere on your phone. All right, now the only other thing is to make sure that you're able to install an updated firmware file. So if in the past you use the update blocker, make sure that you run the update unblocker. If you're not too sure whether you used it or not, just run the unblocker anyway, and it will tell you that the updates have been enabled and it just might ask you to reboot. So once you've got that out of the way, you can go ahead, shut down your system, make sure it is completely unplugged from the internet. So it has no internet connection whatsoever. And then we're going to go ahead and find the update pup file that you need, and we'll proceed with installing it. All right, next step is to go to sce.party, come over to the system tab, scroll down to 6.72, and this is the official 6.72 update firmware. It's about 442 megabytes. Go ahead and download that. This is what you will use to just update your system from 5.05 to 6.72. Now the one here in recovery, in the recovery tab, there's a 6.72 here. This one is about a gig large, and this is what you would use when you are reinitializing your PS4. In other words, this is to start over from scratch. Everything in your system is gonna get wiped. You will lose everything, your game saves, your backed up games, everything. It's just starting all over brand new fresh. So in most cases, everyone will just be using the update file located here in the system tab. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and take that file. We gotta put it on a USB. Make sure the USB is formatted either to XFAT or FAT32. On the root of your USB, create a folder called PS4. Inside of that folder, create another one called Update. And then inside of that is where you will put the PS4 update.pub file. Everything here needs to be uppercase. So the file itself needs to be all uppercase as well as the name of each one of the two folders. Once you've done that, go ahead, remove it from your PC or from wherever. Before you turn on your PS4, put that USB in, make sure again that the PS4 is completely disconnected from the internet. And then we need to go into safe mode. Okay, so now go ahead and put that USB into your PS4. Make sure that you plug in your controller directly to your PS4 as well, because safe mode requires it. Once you've done those things, you are going to, again, make sure your PS4 is completely disconnected from the internet. Go ahead and press the power button. When you press it, do not let go. Continue pressing it down for about seven or eight seconds or so until it beeps. Now, right around that seven or eight second mark, you should hear it beep. Go ahead and immediately let it go and the safe mode should pop up. I will tell you first to press the 
a PS button on your controller. Then you'll see the safe mode menu. What you want to pick is right here, the number three option, which is to update the software. And once you've done that, you hit OK a couple of times and just let it do its thing. After a few minutes or so, the system will automatically restart and you'll be at the welcome screen of your PS4. And once your PS4 is done and you have control of the system again, head on over to the system information screen, confirm that you are now on 6.72 as we are here. Also, you just want to quickly go ahead and double check uh, the automatic download settings. Go there and make sure that the middle box is unchecked. It's a good idea to have them all unchecked, but for sure, absolutely, the middle one needs to be. Anyway, once you've done that, you can get out of this and then you can connect back to the Internet and you can start using a host menu or if you you know host the menu files yourself, you can start doing that for 6.72. Now, as of right now, as of the making of this video, Dark Modder VCs, his hen exploit and lethals exploits. They're the two that are the most stable as of the making of this video. Lethals is the official hen 2.1.3, and that's what we're going to be using. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Lethal's site. And I've already used this on my PS4 before, so it's already saved here. I'll put it up on the screen. Now, when you use this for the first time, it's going to cache, as you can see right there, into your system. It'll say cache successfully, and then it'll tell you to open and close your browser. So let's go ahead and close it, and then we'll reopen it. And then we will head back to the lethal site. And when we go into it now, you can see it's um, not caching because it's already done that. Now, what we're going to do is load the exploit plus hen together button. That's what we need to choose. Okay, and the exploit has been loaded. Hen is loaded. It's going to say here launching payload right there on the uh, upper left corner. Then it should say welcome to hen. And once that goes away, that's it. You're ready to go. The next thing that I recommend you do immediately is to select disable updates. This will prevent any official firmware updates from installing into your system. Even if you accidentally downloaded one, if you try to install it, it will not install. Now from here, once you've done that, let's go ahead and head on over to the settings. And we want to check to make sure the debug settings are there, which they are. Here we go. So that's good. Now head on over to your games. Make sure your backed up games are showing up and then launch a couple of them and make sure that they work. And that's it. You're good to go. If your backed up games, though, are not showing up, the fake package ones, then that means we need to go ahead and restore the database. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so if you use the payload method in order to back up your database and you use that USB stick, you're going to put that USB back into your PS4. You're going to make sure that the exploit and hen are running. In other words, just make sure that your jailbreak is running. And once that's done, go ahead and pick the database restore payload. Now, it doesn't matter which exploit you use or which restore. They're pretty much the same thing as long as it's for 6.72. It doesn't matter whose you use. So let me go ahead and show you here lethals a little bit bigger so you can see better. If you're going to use this one, just for example, hit the load exploit and hen together. Once that's been done successfully, then make sure again, the USB is in your PS4, the one with the uh, database files and then go ahead and select DB restore. Wait for the messages to finish. If the messages just keep going or it doesn't seem like much is happening after about five minutes, go ahead and close the browser, reboot your PS4 and you should see your games. Now, if you used FTP, you'll just have to put those files back where you got them from. So let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, so for putting in the files back via FTP, make sure that you have your exploit running, then launch the FTP payload. I've already done that here. You can see it says FTP loaded. I'm already connected to the PS4. You're gonna go into the system data folder, then go into the PRIV folder, then the MMS folder and you'll just replace the files that are here with the ones that you backed up. These are the ones that I backed up earlier, so I'll just copy and paste them or drag them into here. And then once you've done that, reboot your system and you should see your games again. Just keep in mind that these files work for only your specific PS4. You can't use them with someone else's. They're specific to your system and to your user and your account. So anyway, once you've done that and reboot, you should be good to go. And that's one of the advantages here. You're putting the files back in yourself and rebooting when you use the payload method Again, sometimes to restore those files, it takes multiple tries here. You're just putting the files directly in yourself. So, you know, on the first try, it's definitely going to work. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you found anything here helpful, informative, useful in any way, and you just want to show your appreciation, thanks, or throw some love to the channel, the best way to do any of those things, as usual, you know it, is just to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, guys. Be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one.